10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 3, 2, 1. They got Schembechler on the shoulders. Listen to the crowd go wild. Michigan upsets Ohio State. Hands on for Kolasar. Touchdown. Tracy bootleg like firing deep for Tooman. Touchdown, Michigan. He's headed for the corner. Michigan has 21. And you know Lee Corso, what will he do? Will he go for the tie or will he go for the kick? Satisfied with a tie, I guess. 21 to 21. 52 seconds remaining. Boy, the last time Michigan came back in the closing 17 seconds was exactly 40 years ago today. The Wolverines were moving the same way towards the southern goal. They trailed Ohio State. It was a tied up ball game, 14 to 14, just as it is now. Okay. Under center is Wangler at the 45. He goes back. He's looking for a receiver. He throws down there the corner. of Michigan is stunned. Lloyd Carr is the new head coach. This is one of the saddest days of my life. My friend Gary Muller, a man that I have great uh, respect for, admiration and love, is uh, no longer here. And now, even before the leaves turn, the Lloyd Carr era has begun here at the University of Michigan with a crowd in excess of 100,000 on hand in the big house. Don't shed any tears for us. We don't want your tears. Don't feel sorry for us. We don't want your sorrow. One of the grand traditions in college football, the entrance of the Wolverines of Michigan. So it's a good matchup of the ACC against the Big Ten. It's Virginia, Michigan. Dick, let me ask you about Lloyd Carr. Will there be a lot of changes with the football team with Gary Muller gone? Well, Brett, you know, Lloyd Carr has been a defensive coach here for 15 years, most of which he spent coordinating the defense. Certainly no dramatic coaching change in Virginia. George Welsh has done a wonderful yeah. job down there. 14th year at Virginia, and he comes in here with a pretty good football team. Put it in Biakam and took his hands. First down, Michigan. And here comes Barber. Biakam and Tuka runs the delay out of that look. And Biakam and Tuka with daylight. Out of bounds at the 42-yard line. First down, Kamunga, Biakam and Tuka, 20 yards. Tiki Barber smacks a tackle. Barber's a good one. 20, and he gets to the 23-yard line. So everybody came in thinking about the 21 on the Michigan side, but Virginia's got a 21 also. 
Jared Iron with his first pop of the game. Here's a man right now, write it down. He's one of the favorites for the Butkus Award. Iron, number 37. Now the swing to Barber. Barber on a cut against Bowen. The 741 yards, his first carry on the oh, way. And the Wolverines were all over that spot. Jason Horn, number 94. They'll run in that direction. Barber, though, is not going to get away this time because Chucky Winters is there. First down, Mercury Hayes. Tuman making the catch, and the Wolverines behind Drosbach are moving the chains again. Drosbach complete. Bianca Batuka, and this time, Rocker was ready. Number four. And Remy Hamilton trots onto the field to attempt a field goal. 43 yard field goal attempt. Not close. Out of the shotgun, throw comes underneath the Crowell. Chucky Winters, and he's limping off the field. Gets time, though, and he fires for the first down to the 42, Brian Owen. Oh. Goes against it one-on-one. -on -one. He's got Crowell another first down. Down the sideline, deep and incomplete. Clarence Thompson with the coverage on Jermaine Crowell. Underneath to the tight end, and Virginia forced the punt as Chuck Winters led the defensive charge. Well, the first quarter has come to an end for the Pigskin Classic. Off a play fake to Bianca Batuka, they're going Tumor, they're going for the big play, and it is incomplete. They set the screen play, and Howard. And he is upended at the 25-yard line by Joe Crocker. I am very impressed with the tackling being demonstrated by these Cavaliers. This defense makes sure when they hit you that you're going down. And Baker. So in the exchange of punts, big advantage for the Cavaliers. Barber, daylight. Barber out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Second down right now, and throw against an all-out blitz. They throw that screen play. They'll run behind Medley with Barber. They're all over him. They jam him up short. And now the Cavaliers with a field goal chance. On its way, a 40-yarder. No good. So each side with a missed field goal. And it is still scoreless into the second period. That was a 39-yarder officially. Looking for Bianca Batuka, but gonna go deep. Wants Mercury Hayes. Caught it out of bounds. No question about that one. Nice diving reception by Mercury, but all for naught. Bianca Batuka is still slotted. They throw That's for it this time, and Bianca Batuka is all alone coming down to sideline. Out of bounds at the 41 yard sack. At the 48-yard line, Eddie Robertson, number 55, buries the young quarterback. It's one-on-one -on -one coverage and a great grab at the 43 by Brian Owen. First down for the Cavaliers. Throw. Keeps it. And he's close to another first down. I believe he may have it. They fake throw. Under pressure, throws high, incomplete, and Grove did not want winners picking that pass off. Shotgun formation, high snap, Grove brings it down, great save, Barber incomplete. The snap threw off the timing, Jared Irons took the running back as the wide receiver and put the helmet on him. Joe Garcia attempts his second field goal of the afternoon. Ball is put down at the 28-yard line. No good. We're 0 for 3, and that is not like Garcia. Bianca <laughs> Vatuka is the running back. 
Dreisbach rolling, moves, intercepted. This could be bingo for the Cavaliers oh. late. Oh, Rodney Barber with eight interceptions a year ago and his first here today. And this will give the Cavaliers a late scoring opportunity. You just got the feeling we were going to get a big turnover sooner or later. Watch Reamer's mom make the hit right here. Boom. Barber <laughs> intercepted eight passes a year ago. Oh, would like the first down wide open. Got him. At the two, it's first and goal, and it was the big tight end, the senior from Atlanta, Georgia, Bobby Neely, rolling wide open. Now Tiki Barber is in behind Medley, the fullback. At first and goal for the Cavaliers. Grove, touchdown, Virginia. The Cavaliers strike first. The interception, the key play of the first half. It's seven zip. That is a big boost emotionally to go in the side, go in the locker room at halftime, seven point lead, big boost. And the Virginia Cavaliers, an underdog in the Pigskin Classic, will take a seven nothing lead in the locker room.